Hi, this is Max with AstroVet Endeavor. What you're about to see is the first day of the AstroVet coming right off the trailer, July 9th, 2022. And unfortunately, we didn't get a ton of video because it was kind of a fast paced day and we didn't know what to expect and we ran into a couple of problems. It was also kind of hot out. So some of this is gonna be narration, some of it's gonna be still photos and a couple of videos that we did take. So uh, let's get started. All right, here we are with Mike and the 71 454 Corvette that, oh yeah, who, who did it used to belong to? The astronauts. Astronaut Al Warden, Apollo 15. We're about to take this thing off the trailer and start this whole process. Um, you want to try it? Try to start it? Yeah. Are you, are you still in gear? Yeah, clutch is in, you're not rolling? Clutch is in, okay. not rolling. Okay, you're good then. Fire. Nothing? I'm not getting spark. Um, let me check real quick. So guys, just an introduction. This is Mike Etling Jr. He's a local Corvette restoration guy. And uh, you'll see in just a minute, everything we had to do to get this going, the engine wouldn't start, the brakes didn't work, parking brake worked, but uh, a couple other things. We had to roll it out the back of the trailer here. And then uh, actually you'll see how we did drag it up the driveway. Take a look. You just riding the clutch? I'm caught on the left. Okay. Coming down, we're gonna, Edgar, watch out. Oh, the other way. Oh, 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 oh. That's out. Nice. <laughs> There's only one parking brake working. That's why it's sliding to one side. So it actually turned out that the front right wheel was turned inwards. And that's why it was dragging to one side. We wound up having to drag the car a little bit. We found that when we were pushing it, it wasn't moving very easily. So we tried starting it one more time. All right, we're gonna try this again. Wow. Yeah, that'd be bad. All right, once. Say when. Turn the key. Uh, Is the choke closed? I'm trying to open it. It should. It should give it a second. It should open up. Is it a vacuum or is it? Uh, vacuum. Yeah. And we got vacuum leaks all over the place. Go ahead. Keep going. Hang on. Solenoids out. Go ahead, hit it. Nah, it doesn't want to go. And it didn't want to go. It kept going and going. And then eventually we burned the uh, the battery out and the starter wasn't throwing the solenoid out properly. It was all sorts of problems. It hadn't, you know, it happens to a car that hasn't really run in 20 years. So uh, we found we couldn't push it. We couldn't get it started. And we had to get it up the driveway somehow. So... Uh, we decided to use my World War II Jeep with a manila rope wrapped around the rear spring and drag it up the driveway. Right. 
And that was pretty much it for day one. You could see that front right wheel was dragging all the way up the driveway. It was canted in. Uh, we went underneath the car and actually managed to fix that, rough it in, and then took a couple of fun pictures here. This is recreating the Life Magazine article that was taken with the Apollo 15 crew in front of the Lunar Rover in 1971. But you can see here, this is where she's tucked away in the garage, and uh, here's the paint. Not in great shape, but... This is what we're going to talk about. This is what we're going to do for the restoration and stick around for some more videos of what we've done so far.